Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream in Nashville, Tennessee with Samantha Payne, Jeremiah or Jeremetha's uh, blushing bride as uh, she attempts to e-beg for Jeremiah while he is in jail. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Hold on one second. Let me tear my Bluetooth off. Good morning, guys. Um, once again, I'm going live, trying to come up with the money to get Jeremiah out of jail. For those of you that don't know, he was picked up a couple of days ago. Um, Russell, Kentucky, he missed a court date um, that we had no idea about. Um, from earlier this year, we thought we went to all, I went to all the ones that I had. We thought we both had. Um, so he missed a court date. Um, he's being held in Montgomery County. Once he, once Russell takes him there, then he'll have a $500 bond that we do not have whatsoever. Um, not only that, he was supposed to have done, I completely forgot that the motel was due today until about five minutes ago when I was notified. Yeah, bills, 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 bills. Yeah, we've all got bills to pay, some more than others, and uh, people like Jeremiah are no exception. And But in his case, he likes to go out and act like a complete jackass, doing a bunch of auditing, and end up uh, getting court dates that he never shows up to. Well, uh, that's his problem, which he tries to put off on others by e-begging all the time. So let's continue on, shall we? The hotel that we live in, he was supposed to do his side job the past couple of days. I remembered that, that he didn't get to do the job he was supposed to do, but completely forgot about the motel. So in about three hours, we are literally going to be on the streets if I don't come up with the $320 for the motel. Plus, I also need the $500 for his bond. So, it's, I don't start my new job till next week. I'm not going to say what restaurant because then somehow my job would just get ruined. Um, but I start a, I go into management training next week um, to become a GM of a local restaurant. Which is great. It's like the dream job I've always wanted. And I can't wait to start. But that's not until next week. And then we will forever be taken care of. Which is also great. Sounds like a very old story with them. That they keep on repeating over and over again. Oh, I, we need money. But we have a job lined up uh, for next week. Or the week after. And then all of a sudden the job disappears. Years. I wonder why. Because I wonder if you guys advertise your YouTube channel to your uh, potential bosses and they go take a look and are like, uh, no thank you, we don't want to be associated with this kind of thing. That might be it, but I'm not entirely sure. But I wouldn't doubt it if uh, Jeremiah... Jeremetha decided to advertise to his bosses uh, his YouTube channel. Um, so... In the description is the Cash App and the PayPal. If anybody can please help us. All night long, once again, I had a Skylar crying herself to sleep. You know, anybody that knows Jeremiah and Skylar knows that they're like two peas in a pod. She misses her daddy a lot. And not being able to talk to him or see him or anything sucks. Um, you know, you get that first phone call when you get there. And then unless you have money on your books you're screwed but at any moment they'll be taking him to Kentucky so guys please anybody can help us whatsoever I really appreciate it um, like I said there's the cash app the PayPal both are in the description okay let me get this straight then uh, from what I can see here a lifetime of being a pain in the ass frauding and everything like that for Jeremiah has gotten him pretty much nowhere, and he has 
Uh, well, over the years, resorted to e-begging and or just regular begging outright because, well, he's a bloody moron who doesn't know how to manage money or get along with other people. I mean, other, even other auditors don't really like him that much. I mean, that says a lot about his character. Um, so he's sitting in Montgomery County Jail right now until Logan County comes to pick him up. It should be sometime today. Hopefully, if he gets picked up today from Logan County, he'll go to court tomorrow. If he doesn't get picked up till tomorrow, he won't go to court till next Tuesday. So, I don't know about y'all, but I would not want to sit in a jail that hates my guts. So, please, guys, if anybody could please donate and help us come up with the bond. Plus, I also have to come up with, in the next three hours, the $320 I have to pay for the motel that we lived in. He was had a tree job that he was supposed to be doing the past couple of days. I just, I don't know why I thought that the motel wasn't due for a couple more days. I, with all this extra stress and everything that's been going on, and his mom, and not feeling good, and almost passing out, and having a heart attack, it's just a lot. Well, uh, Samantha, uh, I'll tell you this. Life is tough. Get used to it. Or as my dad always said, uh, life's a bitch or you marry one. But in your case, you married an asshole. But I still have to cut. Like, so I need that plus 320. So I need a total of $820. But at the moment, I need 320 today within the next three hours. If I had any other way I could think of, trust me, if I had good enough credit or a, I don't start my job till next Monday, so I couldn't even get a loan if I wanted one. I didn't try it. I looked into that yesterday. But please, guys, if anybody whatsoever could, or if, even if anybody can help me with the motel part, I have literally two and a half hours to pay $320, and I have, well, I paid 80 of it. It's actually supposed to be 400 a week. And I had 80, and I that's what I paid yesterday for today. So that was it. That's all. That's... So that got me until this morning. I got a question for you, uh, Samantha. Uh, have you ever considered dropping that freaking loser, Jeremetha, and striking out on your own and just saying, well, you can ha have visitations with your daughter when we have recovered from this nightmare that you put us in? I mean, there are social services that would be only too happy to uh, help a single uh, female parent out with a child. I mean, it, there's a lot of them out there. You just need to drop that loser and seek them out. Which I'm still right back at paying 300 so really 320 so it didn't really do me any good, except for giving me one extra iron. No, not only rich people pay bail. I'm just saying, if I could be rich for one day, I'd make sure we had a house and everything. That because I'm, you know, we also need the money for the motel. Such a sad story with this one, but I think it all stems from Jeremetha himself. I mean, Samantha and Skyler could probably do just as well without him if they separate themselves from him. Well, but. You know, that's going to be quite difficult because uh, people like him always find a way to uh, make their significant other feel like that they are the ones that are the problem, not them. So they may be together for a while, but hopefully one day she'll realize what a loser he is and uh, seek out those social services. Uh, be more than willing to help someone like her out. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.